In this video, we'll be looking at an application of inequalities. Going back to a very familiar problem, designing a box. Your company, the Awesome Container Company, wants to design a box that has a volume of at least 200 cubic inches. The cardboard stock that you can cut the boxes out of is 15 inches by 20 inches. If you cut squares out of the corners of the cardboard, what size should the squares be? So we've seen these problems before. We have our cardboard here, and we're cutting out the corners, and we're cutting out squares, and this is 20 inches by 15 inches, and our squares that we're cutting out are x by x. And remember, volume equals length times width times height. So our length is going to be 20 minus 2x. Our width is 15 minus 2x. And our height is x. Now in this case, we want it to be at least 200 inches cubed. So at least means that 200 is less than or equal to this amount. And this is what we want to put into our calculator. So go ahead and get out your graphing calculators. So putting that into our calculators, we want to graph it. And then we, we need to decide what our window should look like. We are looking for volume. so our x has to be a positive number, and the y has to be a positive number. In our window, we can make the x minimum of 0 and the y minimum of 0. Our x maximum, if x was 10, this would be the largest it could possibly be, and we actually want it to be less than 10. So our x maximum of 10 is fine. Our y maximum. If we had want it to be at least 200 cubic inches for the volume, so our y, we need to go past 200. So let's go up to 300 and take a look and see what we get. And we'll graph it. So we don't quite include as much as we want in that. So we can go ahead and, and bring it back, bump it up to 500 just to take a look at it. And there we have our nice our nice arch there. So we want the volume to be at least 200. So to get that, we're going to go to make a second line and make y is equal to 200. And we're going to graph that. And now we get a nice line that is 200. And so everything above that line that's on the, the graph here, all of this, the volume will be bigger than 200. So we need to find that point, and we need to find that point. So the way we find those is the intersection. So we go second, calc, and 5 for intersect. And then it's going to ask you for the first curve. It's on one of the curves, so we'll accept that, enter. It jumps to the second curve, so we'll hit enter, and then it asks for a guess, so we'll hit enter again. And then it gives us the intersection. This is the right-hand intersection at x equals 5.48, and y is 200. That line is 200, so we know it has to be 200. We want the second intersection there, so let's go to second and calc and intersect again. This time we need to take our first curve closer to the left-hand side. So I'll take it over, and hit enter, and now I'm on the second curve, and it's closer to, to the left-hand side, so it will put the left-hand intersection there. Enter, enter again, and it gives us our intersection at x equals point zero point 
So now we have our solution there that in order to have the volume of at least 200 cubic centimeters, we need to have our x in the interval between 0 0.81 and 5.48. Short and sweet video today. Now, just for fun, if you're designing the box for this cat, I think the cat needs a bigger box. See you in class.